Welcome back. We're here with Nathan Judis from Baton Rouge, who is a self-professed wild game connoisseur. And we found you on Instagram a few months back and decided we had to have you because yep. your meals look outstanding. How did you get inspired to become so interested in taking it to the next level with wild game? Yeah, so I've always hunted and fished, and I always love to cook, um, and I just like to elevate meals a little differently. Um, John Foles, good. did you hear that word? <laughs> elevate. <laughs> And it's always good to have a really good home cooked meal yes. as opposed to going, uh, you know, out to a restaurant. It can get expensive, and Absolutely. if you have if you have a freezer full of awesome wild game or fish, you know, why not cook it up? So we're doing more than just blackening things Absolutely. and frying things; just kind of kicking it up. We've got some snapper here. What are we going to be making today? All right, we're going to be making a, a Thai spice snapper with a coconut curry sauce and uh, some some. I'm intimidated uh, already. Cilantro <laughs> lime rice. It's super easy. Okay. Um, so first we're going to start just with a little bit of olive oil in our saucepan right here. And we're going to put some uh, bell peppers, some garlic, some red onions, and some uh, ginger. If you don't have fresh ginger or you don't have you know, a way to grate it and do all that, can you use just a powdered ginger? Or does you could, you could use powdered ginger. A lot of stores, now this is lemongrass. We're going to add about two tablespoons of lemongrass also. Where they do you do, find that? You can find this at basically any store, okay. Albertsons, Walmart, anything like that. Um, they also sell this in ginger as well um, Perfect. if That's you can't find do. fresh <laughs> ginger. so About how much of that? That's about a tablespoon to two tablespoons. Okay. And we'll let that brown. Um, we don't need to add any salt or any pepper because we're going to be adding some uh, green curry paste and some fish sauce, and that's going to add our salt and our spice to it. And now for folks that are maybe a little afraid of spice, can you pretty much tune this recipe to your level of spice? Yes, you can. Um, be careful. You might want to try it with maybe a tablespoon or two. I go with about a quarter of a cup because I like it spicy. Of what? And I like the a quarter, quarter of a cup of curry. Okay. Yeah, the green curry. So this is going to cook down for, for about how long? This will cook down for about two to three minutes until it just starts to get a little bit of color. And then we're going to add the curry paste, the coconut milk, and some stock to it, and a little bit of fish sauce. All right, so we're going to move on to our red snapper. We have a uh, filet here, and what we did is we scaled it. Um, this is going to add crispy skin. It's going to add flavor. Um, I always like to keep the skin on, whether it has the scales or not. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to season this with a little salt and some Thai seasoning. When you say Thai seasoning, is this something that you've made? or? Uh, yes, because I couldn't find any. Okay. So, so what it, are the spices involved in so that? So it has a little cumin, some cayenne pepper, um, some coriander. You can smell it for sure. Yeah, some, uh, let's see what else, some ginger. And so what we're going to do also uh, to where we make sure we get crispy skin is that we're going to flour the skin a little bit. And that's just going to add, help it dry out and also add to the crispiness of it. All right. So we've got our sauce cooking and thickening a little bit, and now it's time to cook the fish. Now it's time to cook the red snapper. All right, so like I said, we dusted it with flour, seasoned it, and we're going to get the skin side down. You want to see the flakiness on the top part, and the skin will be a you know, beautiful brown, crispy skin. All right, we've got our red snapper. It looks beautiful. We've got the skin all crisped up. Now we're going to put it all together? Yep, we're going to plate it. So what we have here is some cilantro uh, lime rice. Um, so we'll start with some of that on the now, plate. Now, I saw you prepping this earlier. You did a little zest. Did some lime zest, some lime juice, and some uh, cilantro. All right, and then we're going to place this crispy skin For those snapper. folks, you do just regular lime rice. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at the crispy skin, and we're going to ladle some of the, the Thai curry broth on the side. So you don't mess up the crispiness? So you the don't crispiness. mess up the crispy skin. Oh, my goodness. That looks outstanding. All right. And you can garnish with any cilantro or anything you want to add some color to it, but, you know, it's ready to eat like it is right now. ready to eat, I guess that means we yep, have to we eat. we have to huh? dive in. We'll see how spicy this curry really is. <laughs> Give me a spoon here. I'm going to take a corner so we can not mess up our picture. Mm 
It's really good. Too spicy? As you mentioned, you have to give it a few seconds. Yep. But no, it's not too spicy. The heat with the curry hits you a few seconds later. Yes. This is outstanding. I'm going to try this. Well done. Thank you.